Step two, the BFK protocol. In this step, we're going to look at a very nice protocol that achieves universal blind quantum computation, and it's based on MBQC, which we discussed in the previous step. It was proposed by Broadband, Fitzsimons, and Kashefi, so it's abbreviated as BFK protocol. And in this scenario, the client has the capability of preparing single qubit states from a finite set, which we will discuss later. The protocol achieves blindness. That means the uh, client can hide the input, the computation, as well as the output. And it's achieved by hiding the measurement basis from the server. It can also be, uh, lead to verification of the server or uh, ensure integrity of the data. And that's by placing certain trap qubits in the computation, which uh, then I can uh, reveal a malicious server. So let's look at the main stages of the BFK protocol. Here we've got our client that's generating qubits and sending them to a server who has uh, the capability of storing them in a quantum memory. So the client generates random states and sends them to the server. The second stage, the server loads them into the memory and creates a brickworks state. And then in the stage three, the computation starts. The client instructs the server um, which qubit to measure and in what basis. The server replies with the outcome of the measurement and then the uh, next round starts and, or continues and mm, the client updates the measurement basis for the next qubit, sends it to the server, the server performs the measurement and obtains a classical uh, bit which is communicated back to the client. Let's look at each stage in turn. Stage one, the random state preparation. This is how the client is, trying, is going to hide the input information from the server. So first the client starts by computing the angles of the MBQC or the computation that the client would like to carry out. So if the client had the capability of measuring the qubits as well, then the client could simply measure um, at various angles given from this set A. These are all angles in the XY plane. There are going to be n times m qubits, where n is the number of logical qubits in a brickwork state, and m is the number of physical qubits per logical qubit. However, the, as we said, the client doesn't have the capability to measure uh, the qubits, therefore it cannot drive the quantum computation. That's why it's he, the client is delegating the computation to the server. So next, the client prepares random single qubit states, in fact, he prepares n times m of them in the following, following one-time padded state. So qubit j is prepared in a superposition of 0 and 1, where the client also generates a random bit rj, which can be either 0 and 1, which is used to flip this plus or minus 1 phase, relative phase between 0 and 1, and also angle in the xy plane, theta j, also given taken from this set A. What the server receives is not very difficult to show, is a maximally mixed state for every qubit. We have uh, gone through this calculation in our previous lesson when we were talking about the hiding client's information. This is the exact same thing. Stage two is trivial. This is the stage where the server simply applies C phase gates between their necessary qubits and creates the brickwork state. So let's skip to stage three where the computation happens. This is the interactive part of the protocol. The computation proceeds in n times m rounds because we have n times m physical qubits. In round i, the client sends a new angle of measurement to the server, given by the following. It's delta i is equal to phi i prime minus theta i. Th this angle theta, to remind you, is the um, angle generated by the client. This angle is random and only known to the client. It was used to hide the information about the input states. It's minus phi i because the client wants to undo the uh, applied rotation at the in initialization stage of the qubit. This updated angle, phi prime i, depends on the original, originally encoded computation angle, phi i. And also it depends on the outcomes of the previous measurements. If you recall, MBQC is an adaptive scheme. The measurements depend on the outcomes of previous measurements that happened before. 
So the server applies a measurement at this angle delta i and uh, gets an outcome, either 0 or 1, and um, replies that um, to the client. The client then can decode to obtain the real answer to the measurement. And it's decoded by taking the answer of the server bi and just taking an exclusive or with the initially uh, random bit ri generated by the client and kept secret by the client. So this is the real answer to the measurement uh, of a qubit in round i. That ensures blindness. How about integrity of the data? Well, if the server is malicious, it can try and do uh, measure at different angles than it's being instructed to. The client would like some capability of discovering when this is the case. So what the client can do is the client can prepare certain trap qubits where it will try to catch a malicious server um, in doing something that it's not meant to do. And the trick is to realize that the client can prepare some qubits in the Pauli Z eigenstates. For example, if the client prepares one of the qubits in uh, state zero, and then we, uh, the server applies a C phase gate between some other qubit and this trap qubit, then that trap qubit is not uh, entangled with the, initial, um, with the initial input qubit Psi. They remain disentangled. This way, measurements on trap qubits are deterministic. Here we've got an example of a brickwork state where we placed zero states over here, effectively isolating this trap qubit from the rest of the uh, brickwork state. So if, a, if the client prepares this trap qubit in a at a certain angle in the xy plane of the block sphere and then instructs the server to measure at that angle, the client knows exactly what answer to expect. If the server replies with the wrong answer, then the client knows that something is uh, not right and most likely the server is being malicious and can simply abort the computation. This summarizes the BFK protocol. 